Hello and welcome. Um, this is Niels, I am Bram, we are from Amsterdam Water Sports and we've been teaching for a while uh, all the e-foiling and we're going to give you some explanation today. Yeah, we got a couple of different brands here, uh, e-foils, all top of the line. And we're going to give you the full customer experience by unpacking them, putting them together and also riding on the water to compare the difference between uh, the available boards on the market. Yeah, we're going to try and give you all the information you need if you'd like to buy a board uh, so you know which one you want and uh, what you like. Okay guys, this is the next brand, uh, Waveshark. The company has been there for a while and uh, we got all this uh, equipment here. There's a similar bag uh, than the others. This one comes with wheels, however, so it's easy to carry around. Carbon fiber board, looks nice and smooth as well. And um, for the wing type, they gave us the, the cruiser wing. It is, uh, it's a relatively big wing, but it should be easy for beginners. So that is, uh, that is good. Charger on the other side with uh, like a sort of a normal uh, connector instead of uh, just uh, single wires. Then we have the, uh, the mast. It is an uh, aluminum mast as well. So uh, they're looking solid. And in this bag it has the, uh, the battery. We have the remote and uh, the leash to connect to the board. And uh, we're gonna put all of this together and uh, we're gonna test this board in the water. We're gonna first uh, assemble the uh, Wave Shark uh, board uh, with all, all its features. Uh, make sure before you start that your battery is charged from your remote and the main battery uh, so you are good to go. The mast. We're first gonna mount the mast on the board. Comes with four bolts. So um, make sure that you um, hold the mast Connect the connector, just one connector. You put the mast in the board, like that. Hold it with one hand so it doesn't fall over and damage anything. Stainless steel bolts I see. So make sure that you tighten the bolts properly so you don't lose your mast while you're <laughs> riding the board. So next thing up is the, uh, the wing. This is the cruiser wing today. Uh, we're gonna mount that one. On here. So the first thing is uh, to mount this uh, center piece on the mast, like that. So this uh, should be mounted here on the top. Make sure you tighten the bolts properly so you can see the wing is uh, on it and then uh, the back part this one comes with two bolts same size tighten the bolts properly so uh, next thing up is to install the battery which we already fully charged first thing you open these uh, these locks like that four of them on each uh, corner then um, you take the battery with the connector on the right side, you see, on the back side. Uh, it's just plug and play, you can just enter the battery like this. You press it down a little bit where the connector is and then you close all the locks, like that. Turn them around and press the rings on the lock. So that's it. So you can switch on the battery. Press short and then press long. It's switching on, you hear a click and all the lights are lighting up. So uh, we installed the battery and uh, this board is ready to go. Okay guys, so uh, this is uh, the set we got from uh, Flightboard. Uh, as you can see it comes in, uh, in nice bags with zippers and handles on it. I see there's no wheels under the bag, so you have to carry uh, all the bags but uh, it's all carbon fiber, so not too heavy. So this is the board. This color is called something like carbon gray. And as you can see, it's uh, properly packed and protected. 
Then we have the battery. This battery is pretty small, uh, so you can see it like this, what we are used to. So we're going to try that out later, the, uh, how long it will last. It comes with a charger. charger looks similar than all the other chargers, you know. Uh, plugs on it, there's a little display is there. Then it comes with a spare propeller and a propeller guards, just in case you hit any rocks or something in the water. This is the box with the, uh, with the mast in it. Um, it's an aluminum mast, as I can see. Uh, it comes with some other small uh, parts. And this is the remote controller with the chargers and some small uh, accessories with it. So we're gonna put all of this uh, together, assemble it, and um, then we're gonna see uh, what the flight board is about. So uh, we're gonna mount up the flight board here and we're gonna start with the, uh, with the mast. It's also an aluminum mast, this one. And it comes with a removable tail end, like this. So we only have this one, uh, so we're gonna mount this one uh, on it. Uh, it goes with one bolt here. Yeah, so we're gonna insert the, uh, the mast with the cables inside the board, like that. And then uh, you put the four, four bolts in there. So all four of them tight. And next thing is the, uh, the wings. So uh, this is the wing we got uh, with this board. Um, so it comes with a couple of different adapters uh, for the right uh, wing. So make sure you mount the right uh, cover on here. And be careful with it because it's just plastic, uh, like this. Basically uh, the same as the other fins with three bolts. These bolts do have a different length. So watch that when you mount it, that you have the right bolt in the right position. And then the next thing would be the, uh, the rear wing. So we're gonna mount the rear fin on it. It comes with two bolts as well. Tighten them. Make sure the bolts are nice and tight so you don't lose the wing underwater somewhere. So next thing is uh, to install the battery of the uh, flight board. Uh, first we have to open the battery compartment by these uh, latches. Turn them like 90 degrees and then you can open the uh, compartment. Um, now this flight board comes with like an uh, extra piece of polystyrene to keep the battery in uh, place. So you put that first in the corner and then uh, you take the battery. Mount it in there like that. And then here it has a lock to lock the battery in place like that. All right. Then you're gonna connect the, uh, the cables. So it just has two cables now here, but you still have to connect, the, we have to connect them to the terminals. Push them, and you hear the clicking sound. That's connected. Then you close the uh, compartment, like this. Turn this. Right, and the board is ready to ride on the water. So guys, uh, before we can ride this board, we need to switch it on and we need to uh, pair the remote with the board. So we already installed the battery and connected the, uh, the cables. As you can see, we have some uh, green lights there. Next thing is on the remote, the display will show it. It says uh, pull the trigger once, to arm, ready to ride, press the dash. And it's testing the motor and we're ready to ride.
So guys, we just went on a ride with this uh, flight board. Something uh, as a first impression I uh, noticed. Um, the board has a lot of power. Um, however, the tr trigger is very sensitive. So keep that in mind when you're riding this board for the first time. Uh, for the rest, it's easy to get on the board and to uh, get out of the water as well. Uh, just like a, uh, a good quality uh, e-foil. It was a fun ride, yeah. So uh, we are ready to uh, ride the board. Uh, first we have to switch it on. So you switch it on uh, by this button on the battery. One press. The lights come on. As well as the tail light on the back of the board. Also switch on the remote. One button here, press and hold. It vibrates. It switches on and it starts to look for the board. So I just came back uh, for the, from the ride on this uh, Waveshark e-foil. Easy to operate, it's very stable and uh, it is equipped with the uh, larger uh, wing. So uh, good for beginners and uh, yeah, it was a fun ride. So uh, we went uh, for a ride on uh, both of these boards, the Waveshark and the uh, flight board. Uh, I will start with the, uh, with the flight board uh, to compare a little bit. When assembling this board, uh, we had some little challenges with putting things together and um, we had to watch a video uh, to get the uh, remote paired. For the rest, uh, the board uh, rides pretty smooth and stable. It's, uh, it is a very light board. That also is because the battery is uh, not so large. And that reduces the weight, but it will also reduce your riding time on the board. The remote, uh, keep in mind this remote doesn't float. So make sure you have this on your wrist, otherwise you're going to lose the remote. The trigger is very sensitive of this board. Uh, so you have to be very careful with your, with your finger to, make a, uh, to get a, a constant speed. Uh, the board does have a lot of power. Uh, we didn't even go full speed, so it has some, uh, some left to try. The board looks nice, uh, it comes with all the bags, you know, everything uh, like you would expect from a, uh, a high-end board. Uh, when riding the board, uh, this wing is like an intermediate wing we use today. Uh, it's still pretty stable. I assume they have other wings uh, with this board you can try. Yeah, so this was uh, for the flight board. Then we have the wave shark here on this side. The assembly of the wave shark was uh, pretty straightforward, mounting the mast and the fin. We use this uh, larger fin today, suitable for beginners. And it's very stable, so when uh, riding this board, uh, you will feel it's uh, like uh, solid. It's going forward, and um, it will stay like that. And the remote, uh, this remote actually floats. And what I like on this remote is the length of the trigger. So uh, it's easier to uh, control uh, the speed and to maintain a constant speed. For the rest, um, the display is, uh, is showing some basic stuff, what you need to know uh, for your ride. Battery is a plug and play, there's no compartment, so uh, you can just enter the, uh, enter the, put the battery in the board, close the latches, and that's it. The uh, battery is uh, much larger, which gives you a longer riding time, uh, but then again, it also makes the board a little heavier to carry around. Yeah, I, dry, I enjoyed the ride on this uh, Wave Shark board. So after putting all the pros and cons uh, together, uh, the final conclusion for me is going for the Wave Shark. And the reason for that is uh, battery life. 
you have a longer riding time with the with the wave shark the other thing is uh, the price it uh, has a lower price well the build quality is uh, pretty much the same when you fly board so i would go for the uh, for the wave shark 